Hi, I'm Lisa Squire, Senior Communications Advisor for Alberta Health Services, and this is Health Matters. Joining me today is Jessica Lexvold, and Jessica is a safety instructor with Safety City. Today we're going to be talking about a very important topic, one that's actually been in the news quite a bit lately, and sometimes with tragic results. We're going to be talking about cyberbullying. So thank you for being here, Jessica. So first of all, how big of an issue is cyberbullying? Um, I feel it's a really big issue. In the past, people always perceived bullying as a physical sense because we weren't exposed to as much social media and electronic devices as we are now. You used to be able to go home at the end of the day and escape from um, the bullying. And now, because of all the electronic devices, bullying psychological effect follows you everywhere. And so what are some warning signs that somebody is being cyberbullied? Okay. The biggest warning signs would be if all of a sudden your child is obsessed or preoccupied with being on the computer or on their device. They want to be checking it all the time, constantly on it. The opposite of that would be that they want nothing to do with it. They are withdrawn, they're upset, they don't want to, they're reluctant to go outside to be with friends, go to school. The biggest thing is to keep the lines of communication open so that you can be aware of if there's any changes in their behavior. And if I suspect that somebody is being cyberbullied, what should I do? So the first thing would be to talk with your child. If it's your child, talk to your child about it. Whether you suspect it or they've told you that they're being cyberbullied, let them know that you're there with them to help deal with it together. You're their advocate and their sounding board, so they have someone to talk to. The next thing would be to talk to your cell phone provider, your internet provider. They have policies on their end to warn and terminate accounts that are being used for cyberbullying. Also to talk to your child's school. Even though it's happening on the internet, it can still affect the school life. And be aware of who to contact at school and what their procedure is once you have talk to them. The last step would be to um, contact your local law enforcement and don't hesitate to make them aware of the behavior that's going on. Well, speaking of uh, laws and, and police and things like that, is there anything, like are there actually any laws that would protect uh, people from being cyberbullied? There are. The Alberta Act was revised in 2012 stating that the penalties for cyberbullying would be suspension or expulsion, community service being charged, and eventually having to serve time in a juvenile detention centre. Also, if you know that somebody's being cyberbullied and you don't report it or don't do anything to stop it, you can also be suspended or expelled as well. Great, thanks Jessica. Um, that's some really great information. I actually didn't even realize that if you knew about it and you weren't doing anything that uh, you could be affected as well. And I think it's important that we all work together to keep children safe. I'm Lisa Squires and this is Health Matters.